So, uh, Andy, uh, can you tell uh, everybody how much water we actually have in these creeks? A lot. <laughs> There's been lots of rain over the last three weeks up in the Red Lake area. And uh, apparently some of it fell around here. And consequently, this is the shallow section as marked on the map. Uh, so when we got here, there's water uh, running everywhere. So it's uh, pretty high and we're clipping along at a nice pace uh, without having to uh, bust a gut or, uh, or get uh, too bent out of shape. So kind of convenient. So uh, what happened on the portage, Bill? Uh, you're our, uh, on your own, we left you and... Uh... Yes, you all left. I was walking back and walking down the trail towards me was a black bear. And uh, he saw me, put his head up. I yelled a few times, three times, I guess. And he ran, thank God. And ran about 100 yards, stopped. I thought, oh, darn. And uh, turned around, looked at me, and I yelled again, and he kept running. I was a happy camper. Yep. Nice portage trail, though. Gorgeous moss, sphagnum moss everywhere. Beautiful pine needle trail. Slightly uphill at the beginning, carrying the canoe, and then deep downhill at the back. And perfect. Gorgeous trail. What are you doing, Andy? Oh, just putting out the laundry. <laughs> we got uh, we got some maps wet today, unfortunately. So. Uh, We don't need any maps though, do we? Well, it's only a kind of uh, knowing where you're going kind of thing and not getting lost. So um, it, it's nice to hang on to resources like these that uh, you can figure out where you are and where you want to go. Otherwise, it's uh, time to build three fires and wave down a a passing plane. <laughs> What's going on, Ann? Well, Andy convinced me to hang my maps out. He's very kind. He even got a dry rope to hang my maps out. And now it's pissing rain that the heart has done it. It's been doing all week. So, well, we'll, we'll survive because we have the GPS. <laughs> and that's a good thing. There we go. We have the GPS. <laughs> so that's the way it is. And... But there's a there's a blue sky behind the, all this rain, so we're waiting for that. We thought it would hit a little sooner than now. <laughs> there you have it. We can't get any wetter. No, they no, they cannot water. get any wetter. Wow, that's the most brilliant rainbow I've ever seen. And it's, it's like so close, eh? Yeah. Right at the end of our tent. It is. Oh, oh. Yeah, yeah. and it's moving right. now. Look, it's moving. So that was an amazing experience. I don't know if uh, I caught it on film, but I, uh, hopefully I did. It was a double rainbow that came over the campsite. It had been raining for a couple days, so it was uh, nice to see the sun, and boom, it just hit the campsite. Uh, it just arced right over. And I'm running around trying to get video and photo of it, and, and there was a point when, when I really didn't want to. I just wanted to experience it. To experience something like that, it's just very magical. Uh, places like this, Woodland Caribou, and other places really in the far north, they're just amazing you got to experience it you really do uh what was that andy <laughs> <laughs> just wait a minute and you'll see the, the the words woodland caribou provincial park burst into flames just like on a gun smoke tv show Ooh, oh God. <laughs> you know what <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> oh she's ripped oh oh